Hey, in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a glimpse of the future of ship preparation and inspection training. Stay on with me. How are vessels around the world preparing for various inspections? They are probably finishing their PMS jobs, checking the cleanliness, updating the documentation and following the VIQ, right? And then what happens on board? An inspector arrives, asks you a simple question, leads to a confusion and now you have an observation. So there is a drop in KPI now, loss of business which you need to explain for and maybe some people are going nuts. I know most of your vessels are doing well but at the very least, inspections are still a big headache for the seafarer, right? A couple of master mariners with ship and shore experience from all over the world came together to form the NavGuide Solutions LLP and founded a process which is comprehensive enough to anticipate almost any observation, one which can replace checklists with something better finally, reduce preparation time to keep vessels inspection ready and most importantly, give your juniors the vision of an inspector. And we are talking about any inspection here, whether it's a sire, annual, sport state, flag state, this is one process to make the vessel inspection ready. Right about now, you will be asking me these questions. Are you giving me a bunch of checklists again? What problem are you solving? Why are you reinventing the wheel? What is different? Let me explain that. Well, we try to bridge a few gaps first. Just like the VIQ, checklists are mostly divided by topics, which means a certain question might include documentation checks, physical checks, training, etc. This arrangement makes it difficult to follow because that's not how you go around on board. Instead of looking at the entire ship like a VIQ does, we divided her into zones. The ship was divided into 16 physical zones such as the foxhole, accommodation, bridge, etc. with a set of checks devised for each zone. Documentation was also divided into zones based on the person in charge. So the concept is, when you take a round of a certain area, for example the pump room, you are going to check only what can be physically checked over there. You are not going to confuse it with the pump room documentation which will come under the documentation section. We then divided the checks time wise. In each zone, what you need to check can be broadly divided into three categories. There are things you need to check once and for all, for example the lead of the SBM stopper or the bead belt on your bits, you can just check them once and they are going to be there. Before arrival, you need to verify a few things, for example the extinguisher should be signed, the pressure of the BA bottles etc. And on the day of arrival, there are a few things to check as well, for example on tankers the VHF should be on 1 watt, life boy should be next to the gangway, your guys must carry the gas meters. This approach reduces your preparation time because you are getting rid of the one-time checks beforehand. You know exactly what you will be checking before arrival and once you arrive there are only a few things to verify which any smart junior officer can do in roughly an hour. You would be surprised to see the number of observations which come from these last moment checks. We researched our content for over two years studying more than 35,000 observations and responses from across the world, including sire, PSC, flag state observations as well, studying various company SMSs and getting it verified by inspectors. So when I said comprehensive, I really meant it. Well, all this was to have a better checklist, but now let's think beyond checklist. Think about the young millennial generation of seafarers we are working with. This generation has grown up with computers, iPhone, Google and YouTube. Let's see how that has reconfigured our brain. We now have shorter attention span, easy access to information, we are much better connected with more options, less patience and we are screen addicted. Good or bad, that's how it is. With that being true, we are still giving them books, checklists and SMS as reference. Even with the remarkable statistics Google has, it still has nothing which can practically help us prepare a vessel. How are we expecting to create competent seafarers from qualified individuals if we are still giving them outdated tools? Let's combine the concepts now and this is where it gets interesting. Instead of checklists, we are giving them interactive pictorial modules where each question is linked to a photograph. So the pictures which are linked to the questions remove doubts giving the juniors an opportunity to expand and think for themselves. Let me also tell you a few things about YouTube. It's the second largest search engine in the world after Google and most of the people here are trying to find out how to do something. One more thing, the average attention span of a YouTube viewer is four and a half minutes only. Any video more than that will start to lose interest of the viewer. Think of this, 
If I forwarded you a video which is more than 20 minutes long, would you be patient enough to watch it? I give you the world's first virtual tour guide for vessel inspections. We already had checklists which were divided zone wise and now each checklist has been converted into a short video. Here's how it goes. We're going to go for a round of the steering flat. It's going to take just four minutes entering the steering flat. Check the door is in order. Any elevation changes are highlighted. There should be required signages put up in the door. This is the emergency escape trunk between the two doors of the steering flat. The manila rope is in good condition. Blocks are okay. Illumination is satisfactory. This is the second door entering the steering flat now. Check the condition of this door as well. The door closer on both the doors should be... So the 12 zones were divided in short videos, all between two to six minutes long, giving an average of four and a half minutes, which is the average attention span of the viewer today. Well, the videos can completely replace checklists eventually. They give you a visual feedback of not only what to do, but also how to do it, which a checklist cannot. They teach you an inspection pattern, as in how to go about in a certain area while picking up non-compliances just as an inspector does. They hit the mindset of the millennial who is freakishly screen savvy and they tell you how fast a certain area can be inspected if you know what you're looking for. We are using interactive simulation games to improve the behavioral aspects of the officers and crew and to train them to face personal interviews with an inspector. These games are very helpful in simulating realistic conversations and creating tricky situations such as how to deal with a rude inspector. Our interactions make the seafarer assertive yet polite and professional. Unlike any other tool used in the marine industry, we can use emotional cues such as change of expressions or slight appreciation to bring about attitude changes. And you can use all of this online or offline depending on whether or not you have an internet connection on board. What else? Specific guidance on US Coast Guard, specific guidance on annuals, port state inspections and numerous small operational aspects such as rest hours, fire drills, movement books and so on. And a SIRE training and compliance module giving you an idea of the question which an inspector can ask the seafarer divided rank wise. So what are we trying to do here? We are trying to change the future of inspection preparations from this to this. Allow me to paint a picture now. So you want to inspect a certain area today. Instead of a checklist, watch a short video guide on that particular place and then head out. It prepares you as an inspector. Take your inspection tablet and search for the zone you want to inspect. It gives you a list of checks you need to carry out broken down into the very minutest detail. If you have a doubt, clarify it by referring to the relevant photograph under the pictorial modules. If you have an observation, you can add photograph and some comments. Now submit and your report gets generated automatically. That saves you one full day of writing a report separately. It's really as simple as that. During our journey, we got noticed by several major players in the industry, but our real testimonial comes from those juniors who benefit from this process every day. While this can be used by the marina for vessel inspection preparations, there are various other applications as well, such as via visiting inspector or internal auditor as his checking and reporting tool, we already have a SIA training program which can be used by training centers. We can customize videos for sister vessels with the permission of the owner, which now becomes a reference video for those specific vessels. And it is a ready method for remote auditing of vessels. The system is being implemented on bulk carriers, oil tankers and several other kinds of vessels as well. Now, if you are interested to take advantage of this process, just send us an email or a simple WhatsApp message. We usually get back in just a few hours and there is no obligation. If you like what you hear, we can discuss working together. Go ahead, message us now. You'll be glad you did.